Does everyone in Marlboro Township look like a cast member from the Real Housewives of New Jersey? Are the housing prices here totally unaffordable? Does everyone dress up just to go to the supermarket? Do all the residents of Marlboro Township rely on Wawa for the majority of their meals? I'm going to answer all these questions and more because today I'm unboxing Marlboro Township. So yes, everybody, this is Marlboro, New Jersey. Marlboro Township is located in Monmouth County. It's about an hour south of Manhattan and about 20 minutes away from some of the state's most incredible beaches. In my opinion, this is what makes Marlboro Township such a desirable place to live. Our location within the Garden State is pretty dang fabulous. Being so close to the ocean is extremely appealing, but because we are also far enough, we don't have to worry or deal with flood insurance or anything like that. What about the cost of living? Is it expensive to live in Marlboro Township? Is it really unaffordable for the average home buyer? Well, it ain't cheap. Believe it or not, people are relocating to Marlboro Township in droves. How do I know this? Because I'm a local realtor that assists people who are moving into the area. We have seen a crazy amount of new residents moving to our area. While yes, I'm sure there are many, many reasons, this major influx of people started in 2020. It started right around January 2020 with the outbreak of COVID-19. And as the lockdown started, it seemed that more and more people were making their way to Monmouth County. I really think people just wanted more space. So does everyone in Marlboro live in a 20,000 square foot home? Are all the houses here well over a million dollars? Absolutely not. There are many different price points here in Marlboro Township. Remember, there are single family homes, condos, townhomes, and adult communities. There really is a style of home and a budget for almost anybody looking to move out to our area. I'm recording this video in June of 2022. If you've been paying attention to the real estate market nationwide, you know that prices are extremely inflated everywhere. And that's really no different here in Marlboro Township. So currently, prices for condos and townhomes start in the low 300s and can go all the way up into the mid 600s. Single family houses start in the low fours and go all the way up into the millions. You'll notice the sweet spot currently in Marlboro is in the $700,000 price range. Also, there still is not a ton of inventory on the market we still have more buyers than we do inventory. Adult communities in Marlboro Township range from the high $200,000 price range all the way up to the high 700s and low 800s. There is an adult community in Marlboro Township called Greenbrier and their houses are selling the moment they are listed. It is an extremely popular adult community. Houses literally hit the market and receive multiple offers within a day or so. I did a video all about Greenbrier, so you may want to think about watching that one next. Does everyone in Marlboro Township get all dressed up simply to go to the supermarket? Now that is one of the funniest things I've heard. I am going to have to give that a hard no. Will you occasionally see someone in the produce aisle who may look like they just stepped off the set of the New Jersey Housewives? Yeah, it could happen. But more than likely, you're simply going to see people just like you and me when you're out and about in Marlboro Township. Do the women in Marlboro Township 
really look like they just stepped off the set of The Real Housewives of New Jersey? Where did this stereotype even come from? I'm not even really sure how to answer this one. I mean, I guess there are a few spots around town where you may go out and see people who might look they're part of a reality show. But for the most part, again, people here in Marlboro Township are just like you and me. Moving on, are the schools in Marlboro Township really highly rated? As a parent and as a resident of Marlboro Township, I personally have been more than happy with the education here in our town. We have five elementary schools, two middle schools, and the high school is part of the Freehold Regional System. This means that Marlboro High School is part of the largest district in all of New Jersey. There are 12 magnet programs within the district. These four-year programs allow students to pursue their passions in fields of study and career interest. Keep in mind, you must test before being admitted into one of these extremely specialized programs. These programs are housed in one of the six schools that make up the Freehold Regional School District. Freehold Township, Freehold Borough, Manalapan, Marlboro, Colts Neck, and Howell. I did a video all about the Marlboro Township schools, so be sure to watch that one when you have a few minutes. Is Morganville a different town than Marlboro? Nope. Not at all. Morganville is simply a subsection of Marlboro Township. In fact, the only differences that I can come up with, Morganville has a zip code of 07751 and Marlboro has its own zip code 07746. So Morganville has its own post office. That's really it. So let's talk about our main source of food here in Marlboro. Do we all rely on Wawa for the majority of our meals? So I'm going to say yes and no. Is there anyone who currently lives in Marlboro who can honestly say they have never had a Wawa sandwich, a bag of chips, and a fountain drink? Wawa is simply a staple for all of us who live in Marlboro. You'll find decent lines to order a sandwich just the way you like it in between Little League games, soccer tournaments, football games, basketball, and all types of youth events here in Marlboro. And let's not forget stopping by Wawa right before you head down the shore for the day to pick up a sandwich, tons of snacks, and a nice cold drink. So yes, Wawa is a pretty big deal around here. But Marlboro Township does have some incredible restaurants. Looking for some fabulous seafood with an incredible atmosphere? Try Cousins, located right on Highway 79. Or you craving some delicious Italian food? You may want to try out Osteria or Samvera. We can't forget about the staple restaurant to hit if you're craving Chinese food now, can we? Crown Palace on Route 79 has been serving up authentic Chinese cuisine for 30 years. There are simply too many fabulous restaurants here in Marlboro Township to go into them all right now, but I have done videos and written blog articles all about the different places to eat. So when you're done with this video, check out the description box below and I'll link you to everything I've put out about all the different restaurants in Marlboro Township. How's the shopping here in Marlboro Township? There is absolutely no shortage of shopping here in Marlboro. But if there's something that you can't find right here in our town, don't panic bordered on one side by Homedale, on the other side by Freehold, I'm sure if you travel within 15 minutes of Marlboro Township, you can find everything and anything you could possibly need. But right here within our town are definitely a few hotspots that you'll often see many people shopping or hanging out with friends, having something quick to eat, or just somewhere to simply walk to after school.
There is Bear Brook Commons with many of the local favorites, including Wawa, Red Tomato, Playa Bowls, Mixed Greens, La Rosa, and more. And directly across the street, you'll find another strip mall that is extremely popular with all the residents here in Marlboro Township. One last popular shopping spot is Marlboro Plaza. There you can find things from TJ Maxx to Kohl's, from Hobby Lobby to Moe's. There's Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza, The Pickled Herring, Lavodi's, Staples, Massage Envy, Orange Theory, and more. And don't forget, we're just about a 15 minute drive from the Freehold Raceway Mall. Another thing about Marlboro Township when it comes to supermarkets, there is absolutely no shortage of places to go. There's ShopRite, Aldi's, Lavodi's, the Asian Market, Food Emporium, and just a few minutes away is Trader Joe's, Wegmans, and Whole Foods. Does almost every young child here in Marlboro Township play rec soccer? Yeah, they do. Marlboro takes a ton of pride in its soccer programs. After a few years of playing rec, a large majority of kids move on and become part of MSA or the Marlboro Soccer Association. We do have a pretty good reputation of being a good, good soccer town. So if soccer is your thing, like everybody knows, it's clearly my family's thing, Marlboro might just be a great place for you. And finally, let's talk about summer camp and the programs that are offered here in Marlboro Township. Is it fair to say that most of the children here attend summer camp? They do. Of course, there are exceptions. I'm sure not every single child here in Marlboro goes to summer camp, but for those who do, you will often see a large majority not only go to sleepaway camp, but you can often find them attending either the Marlboro Rec Summer Camp or Black Bear, Frog Bridge, Rolling Hills. That's just the way things are here in Marlboro Township. Many kids enjoy going to sleepaway camp or day camps during the summer. There is just so much more I could talk about when it comes time to my hometown of Marlboro Township here in Monmouth County, New Jersey. But the best way to experience an area is to come down and see it for yourself. If you're considering moving to the area, you will definitely want to check out this playlist next. It's all about Marlboro Township. And I go over real estate, schools, places of interest, beaches, parks, restaurants, and so much more. Thank you so much for spending time with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Until then, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.